Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your second week of March reading start from the 8th through the 14th of March 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. I've already pulled out the cards uh, which includes Oracle and the Tarot as well. But yeah, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the reading. Let's find out how this week is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. I'm going to start with the tarot first, so let's begin. The justice. Uh, um... I feel like, you know, starting off the week, feeling the need to have a balance in your life, the need to have a, you know, uh, fulfilling relationships, fulfilling career, fulfilling life. And that's what you are aiming for. That's what you're wishing for. That's what you're hoping for. I feel like, you know, you're really looking forward to have a life which has all that you desire in it. Uh, you know, you, you want every area of your life to be like, you know, uh, smooth, subtle and, you know, you really want peaceful life right now. You really want a, it's It's like, you know, something that everybody wants. But I feel like, you know, for maybe for some of you, maybe it has been quite a long time since you ever had like, you know, balanced life in terms of like, you know, your work life is also going, uh, doing good and your love life is also doing good. Maybe it has been always one sided thing. Like, you know, if you have a good love life, then you have a bad or struggling uh, work life uh, or vice versa. I feel like, you know, you are really wishing and hoping to have equally uh, you know, uh, beautiful life, both in love, work, family, everything. You want everything to be kind of, you know, perfect uh, or balanced at least where you, you, where you feel like, you know, okay, fine, everything is going smooth in my life. So you're really looking for that kind of uh, um, satisfaction in your life. As you start of the week, I feel like, you know, you would try your best as you could to, to bring some balance back in your life. Try to, you're trying to, you know, if you have been doing good in your work, maybe you're going to start giving your time and energy to your love life. If you have been giving your time to love life, maybe you're going to start looking for a good career for yourself so you could have a balanced life there. You don't want to have two extremes in your life right now. You really want some sort of a midway out of it. Um, let's see more cards here. King of Wands. Wow. For some of you, you might be having a choice in your love life as well, or choice in your career as well. Maybe there are two different things that you can opt for right now, and you don't know what to do, where to go, and you know which one to choose as well. That could be the case for some of you as well. Um, maybe it's more like you know one is uh, emotionally satisfying, the other is like you know financially satisfying. For some of you, it could be that kind of energy, and you 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 don't know what to choose. Um, in that situation, be that in work or be that in, be that in love, <clears throat> I would definitely suggest you to listen to your gut, follow your passion, whatever more you know excites you more, go for that, um, because that's gonna bring you satisfaction. If you go for something like you know thinking very practically around it, I feel like you know you would not feel satisfied at the end of the day. You're gonna question your decision every single moment. So whatever it is that, that is calling you, you you know from within, go for that. Be that a person, be that a relationship, be that a job, whatever it is. You know, if you have to make a career choice, make sure you follow what you are passionate about. Uh, let's see more cards here. The chariot. I do see you as a control freak right now. You really want everything in your life to be a certain way. You really want to be like, you know, living the both extreme ends of your life you are maybe you are obsessing about something as well i do see that um watch your passion as in um don't be too extremist maybe there is a person in your life who is a certain way like you know somebody who's very passionate to the point they get obsessive you know i i do see that kind of energy be that your energy be that the energy of the person that you are dealing with it can be you passionate for a person for a job or a, you know hobby or it can be a person who is, you know, getting passionate, obsessive about you or their work. So there is like, you know, um, there should be some sort of a balance in there in your life or in the life of the person that you are dealing with as well. I feel like, you know, there is a need to have a medium or midway out of the situation. I don't think that, you know, going the extremes is the right way forward. Now, for some of you, if you are dealing with a specific someone, I feel like, you know, 
maybe they had given their time and energy to their work career and all those things that they were passionate about now they are coming towards you to give you all their love passion excitement obsession but that's not going to last because this person keeps going from you know one extreme to the other extreme if you are their focus right now trust me you are going to be the least priority in their life as they going to give their focus again to their work so if you choose to be with the person like this you have to be very understanding to the fact that this person lives in extremes if they are with you they are completely in the connection if they are out they are completely out so make sure you prepare yourself for that kind of a person in your life i feel like you know it can be your energy too for some of you if you are somebody who is very obsessive if not then this is the kind of person who is definitely a part of your life or is entering in your life now make sure you are not expecting or having high expectations from this person i do see extremes in this connection so it's not healthy in a way why because obsession leads to you know um you know difficulties especially if the person that you are dealing with is not as obs- <clears throat> as obsessive as you are or maybe if they are you know um it's it's more like you know if if they are obsessive maybe you don't like somebody who is like you know obsessive because that makes you feel suffocated it can be exactly the opposite maybe you are some somebody who is very obsessive and the person that you are dealing with is going to feel like you know um suffocated so make sure there is a room for each other's space in your life and this connection as well so the you know it it has to be balanced you know the life needs to have a balance work love or you know love and the space of a person should be pretty much uh you know incorporated because otherwise i do see difficulties i do see like you know uh the lack of balance is going to you know make this connection kind of uh uh you know um kind of uh, on and off as well so let's see more cards here the star wow there is a divine protection with this person and this connection ah huh. the connection is extreme this connection is extreme definitely if if this is no uh, is if this energy is not about a connection or another person or anything to do with another person trust me you are rocking your world right now you are doing the best thing that you could do for yourself because i do see you very passionate i do see you very much into something and you are going to you know uh make a name in whatever it is that you are doing because i do see a lot of success coming up for you because the passion the excitement that you know that that 100% dedication that you are putting into it it's going to get you the best outcome that one could ever have if if it's something that you're working towards when it comes to your independence your your passion your financial goals i do see you successful in that i do see you you know uh it's, it's something that nobody can take away from you because the success is something that you are motivated to achieve and the 100% dedication that you are putting into it is extremely awesome but i do see that that thing is going to change then it's going to be your love then it's going to be something else um i don't see you stopping at one spot i do see you moving changing switching and i do see like you know that kind of passion once you have achieved uh, achieved one goal you're going to move into the other one then into another one but yes i do see you successful in in whatever you choose to do for yourself now coming back to the love area i feel like you know if you are dealing with a person like this it's not going to be an easy journey it's not going to be an easy connection if you yourself is a person like this i do see you successful in your work but yes i do see you struggling in love so there is lack of balance for sure in your life let's see more cards here six of swords and the last is the devil I do see somebody who's very obsessed with their goals. Love life goals, work life goals. I for majority of you, I feel like you know, it's more of your thing, your energy, your passion for something uh that you want to achieve. But if it applies to your love life, I feel like you know a person like this is entering in your life. But yes, this person is going to be like uh rocking your world because this person is going to be like an extremist this person is going to be somebody who's very controlling somebody who's very obsessive i don't see any negative energy just that because you know extremes are you know not always right like you know especially if the other person is not um you know receptive to that kind of extremes coming in a relationship you know if a person who really likes somebody obsessive and all 
that person is going to love this person coming in, in in their life but if you yourself are tired and feel like suffocated being with a person who is controlling and you know very dominant and very obsessive then i feel like you know this is going to make you kind of you know crave for some fresh air and stuff so i do see this week is going to be kind of um i i don't know i feel like you know maybe maybe for some reasons you both are kind of same but because you want to be the dominant they also want to be the dominant so it's not going to be like you know it's going to be like you know hunger to win the uh dominant position in the connection that could be the case for some of you but i feel like you know whoever this is going to be you know this person you know be that you or uh, the person's energy that you're going to be dealing with there is some sort of protection coming with this connection let's take some cards from this uh, spread that i have um let's see the card for uh for the justice first work on your addictions extremism is something that needs to go try to bring some balance in your life then king of wands please um wrong person need healing there is some sort of obsession there is some sort of a uh, you know it's it's more like maybe maybe you are the one who needs healing or maybe the person that you are dealing with needs healing there is definitely the need to have balance in the life so there could be you know obsession which needs to go uh maybe the obsession is coming because of the past failed relationships connections as well let's see more cards here to try is heart to heart conversations i feel like you know this connection is very toxic in a way um because it has a lot of extremes whoever it is that you maybe it's somebody that you are already dealing with maybe it's your own energy capricorns but whatever the scenario is it seems like you know uh um there is a need to bring some balance somebody needs to you know work on it then we do have the star which says time apart is needed much needed the time uh, apart is much needed in a connection i feel like you know there is again like i said i do see some sort of a need to have the space in this connection maybe this connection is something that you are already having maybe you need a time apart from this person because you are suff- feeling suffocated maybe the person is going to feel suffocated and they would need a time apart whatever the scenario would be i feel like you know the connection is still protected you know time apart would come maybe you know very often maybe but it's not going to last you know it's you guys going to come back together because there is like a lot of obsession maybe you both are same in a way or two and then you both are different in a way or two as well so it's going to be like pretty much on and off connection that you're going to be having or that you are already having with this person then for six of souls we do have believe in your prayers <clears throat> why follow your intuition around this person whoever it is that you're dealing with i feel like you know you both need to heal in one way or the other i do see obsession and you know this this need to st- stop being controlling in a relationship there is a lot of controlling issues here in the connection i don't know why but i do see that a lot there's definitely a need for you know having space for each other that's a much needed thing you know even if you complain about your person that they are always like you know on on, on your head and they they are always like you know uh, bothering you with your with their messages and stuff like that trust me you do the same when you are in the mood so it's more like you know you both are on the same page each you know each and every way but yes you act different at different times and frames um success comes in cans failures comes in cans i feel like you know you both don't give up on this connection at all i do see that there is a strong addiction that you have for this person there is a addictive kind of attitude extreme kind of attitude in this connection i don't see this connection end to be very honest i do see that you know maybe it's going to be on and off maybe it's going to be like you know okay break up and then you know move on and then you come back together and then move on it's going to be like you know that kind of a connection but yes you both are same you both you, the connection is going to stay protected whether you feel suffocated with this person or they feel suffocated with the, your attitude you're still going to be together let's see one last card from this let love in you both uh, you are blocking it so maybe you both are blocking it you 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 because of your you know toxic attitude maybe you are blocking your own path and this connection let's see the other oracle cards now miracle this connection seems like miraculous why because the way it has been having the the patterns it has uh you know is it seems like you know it's only a miracle that it's still going on because the extremism in this connection is like you know very toxic 
but then maybe you fight like crazy with each other and then you come back together as if nothing happened so there is a strong connection addictive kind of connection but yes i feel like you know there is a miracle around this connection which is keeping this connection still alive let's see uh one card forgiveness feel like eventually this connection is going to get stable with the passage of time maybe it's going to take years but if, if especially if your connection is pretty old i feel like you know maybe it's it's going to be like you know soften up uh the energies around this connection is going to go like smoother now but yeah maybe for some of you you need to forgive yourself or forgive this person as well just just take it how it comes passion trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career follow your passion whatever it is that you're doing but i feel like you know you are ex obsessively passionate for something work or career or love courage be courageous and stand up for your, your beliefs i feel like you know you, do, you both don't give up on this connection neither you give up on your, your your desire to have something i do see you very passionate towards your life as well playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine i just see you having a lot of fun time coming up in this connection but yes I don't see it stable to be very honest i don't see it but yes maybe in future with the miracles happening in this connection it seems like you know it's going to turn out well but still the passion the aggression in this connection is matchless i i haven't seen this kind of energy in any connection in recent times at least but yes i feel like you know, it's going to last long but let's see more cards rose attract a relationship number six you could be soulmates as well rose color is going to be lucky for you as well why let's create a balanced life again the need to have a balanced life is a much uh you know needed here right now right now you really need to have a balanced life if you could try working out on your you know your obsession and you know your addictive behaviors maybe you can work on that but if you feel like you know it's all good it's all fine it's all you know okay between the two of you you both like being each other's like mad crazy lovers and go ahead but yeah let's see last card what says uh what it says miracles and blessing everything has its gift i feel like you know you both love playing this game with each other i i am picking up that energy like you know i feel like you both are crazy in one way or the other but yes you both love it you both love the way you both are actually and yes there are time apart uh in this connection between the two of you but still you come back together because you both are destined to be together but i do see that you know with the passage of time with the years that you spend together i do see you know some sort of um uh you know the energy is going to kind of you know settle down later on but not in the early ages or for, or the stages of this connection i don't see that but yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you in this uh you know week time if the reading resonates with you to like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye, -bye. <clears throat>